What up folks, I am Ultrazilla and today I have a review of the Funko Pop Pokemon! Little Pikachu? And Big Pikachu! <laughs> Alright my zillions, we got more kitchen table reviews for you! Um, yeah, it's, it's been a weekend of it and you're not seeing this on the weekend, you've seen this during the week, but hey, this was a good way for me to bang out a ton of reviews of a ton of stuff that either Ultrazilla Jr. got or stuff that I wanted to just do here uh, with Ultrazilla Jr. It's been a good, relaxing weekend where I'm able to just chill out in my apartment and film a bunch of videos. So, hope you dig in it this week to start out. Um, it's been a great way to go. It's a, bit, a lot of stuff here that I've wanted to do, so. You know, these Pikachus uh, are Ultrazilla Juniors, and this guy I just took out of the package. Ultrazilla Junior doesn't even know he's not home. Um, but he's been playing with this little dude. Got these for Christmas. I got him this one. His aunt got him the little one. So there you go. Let's review them. So these dudes are pretty much the same sculpt, just one is upsized. The, and I failed to mention the... Uh, the uh, big one is a Target exclusive. Um, so this one is not, it's got a head swivel, that's all the articulation you get. It's a pretty cute representation of Pikachu done in this, you know, very stylized Funko Pop mode. Um, it's, it's nice, it works out well, you know, it, Pikachu lends itself really well to this. Um, the ears look good, the paint is fine on them, the eyes came out really good, the mouth looks good, the two uh, red cheeks look good. The nose is good, the pose is fine. On the back, the tail looks really good. This is pretty much standard, you know, way to do the uh, Pikachu tail and it looks good. The brown looks good on it, the stripes look fine. The feet and the hands look fine. I like it, I, I think it works out really well here as uh, a little Pikachu, I, I dig it. So let's just bring in the bigger guy here. <laughs> First off, the ears, he's big, he's really big. The ears are painted pretty well. As you can see, it's kind of like off-center there. Um, the eyes look fine, the nose looks fine, the mouth looks fine, and the uh, cheeks look fine, so that's cool. You know, the rest is not painted here. Again, you got a swivel, and this is very loose here. Again, I literally just took out this out of the package for the first time. Oh, Ultra Zill Jr. might be pissed at me for doing it without him. But he'll be surprised when he gets home that it's here. <laughs> um, the tail is really good on this one, too. I like it. I think the tail is a little different here. Yes, placed differently. So that there is different. Um, the tail here is placed more to the side. And that could just be the way, um, you know, just popped in. But maybe not. Maybe that's uh, purposefully done. And this one is right in the center. And that might help him stand up, honestly, because this, this thing weighs a lot. It is a giant chunk of solid plastic. The tail looks really good overall. The brown paint looks good. The brown stripes there look fine. Uh, overall, I think it's, it's really, really cool. So there you go. Two Pikachus for the price of one. Two different sizes. Uh, I have no clue of their availability, you know, at this point. It's, you know, wow, it's it's way out. I actually think I got this exactly a year ago, this big one. Um, when it, I, Whenever it popped up on Target.com, I ordered it instantly. So it was before Christmas, and we're two months out now. So, yeah, it's probably exactly a year old, so I doubt this one's available. I have not seen it in store in a long time. Uh, I don't remember seeing a little one in store at all, but I don't really look at Funko Pops much. They're very few and far between. And just arriving here now is Ultrazilla Jr. Hello. Uh, I took out your Pikachu. What do you, I know. What, what do you think? It's amazing. <laughs> this is the first time you're, you've seen this dude out of package. Um, do you mind that I did the review without you? Yes. You do mind yes. or you don't mind? I don't mind. Alright, cool. So what do you have to say about Little Pikachu and Big Pikachu now that you're here? It looks really cool. Which one do you like better? Mm, both. Yeah. Well, do they look exactly the same or is there anything different? Something different. What is it? The the other one's bigger and the, and the other one is littler. Sure, but I'm saying as far as the way they look, 
Look. Let's see. What do you think? Exactly. They look the same? No, because the other one's eyes are bigger. Hmm. Right? Um, I think it just might be the way it's scaled. You know what Daddy found that's different? What? The way the t tails are placed. Can see? I see? See the tail is going this way over here, and over here the tail is in the center. Oh, this one's only going, this one's going down there and this one's going up. That's right. So, there you go. I found something different about these two Pikachus besides size. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, perfect. I'm glad you were here, Ultra Zold Jr. I'll keep size comparisons to the minimum here. We got the Shoto uh, Mewtwo's that I just reviewed. And, um... The My Pal Pikachu. So there you go, some size comparisons for you. And my final thoughts. These are cool. I like them. They're very, you know, simple, but they work as Pikachu, both in small size and in big size. It's really cool. This is almost like having your own Pikachu there. So that is pretty awesome. All right, guys, and I'm going to keep it as simple as that. That's our review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts below. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Buy me a coffee on coffee if you dig what I do. Become a zillion today. Till next time. Peace out, peeps. Goodbye.